Hello, my lovely people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across this platform, Linda's TV show. If it is your first time and you like what we do here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here, we educate, inform the members of the public about the happenings in the globe. We react to all forms of videos. And I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform. The same time I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we do not promote war, we do not promote violence, we do not promote hate speech. What we are here to do is to educate and inform the members of the public. And again, YouTube call for self-determination is never a call for war. And I want to start by saying, imagine the Afra army can be able to defeat the so-called Boko Haram in our land. Eh? Oh, we have Biafra Prime Minister break it this morning. He said, breaking news. Who remember when I told you that with the Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Resistance, eh? We have achieved the Afra. <laughs> you know, most of you, most of you people know you understand this very man. Asigna moke kwechi re kwechi, moke signa. Eh ba kwa gadiri, or eh ba kwa gadiri. Eh? The Biafra Prime Minister, let me come again. He said that uh, with the Biafra Liberation Army, we have fight the fight finish. <laughs> but do you know one thing? One thing I don't understand is that. Our people are so ignorant of some things. They're so much ignorant of some things that when this very man, the other prime minister, is saying something, you know, let me say one, let me say this. I love it so much when the other prime minister says something, they neglect it. You know the reason why I love it so much. The reason why I love it so much is that every single thing that he is telling you is going to, is going to, he, he, it will definitely come to pass. That's the reason why I say. It's sweet me that you people always ignore it. But at the end of the day of ignoring every single thing you say, it will come to pass. That's why it's sweet me. Because most of you people keep on neglecting neg every single thing this man has said. You keep on neglecting it. Every single word that have come out from this prime minister of the Africa, you keep on neglecting it. But the most shocking thing is that every single word that this man has uttered has come to pass, have come to, I mean, have come to pass, and it come to pass with every single detail you have said. Today, I'm gonna give this morning that the so-called the Boko Haram in the army uniform in our land. He told you this is another promise again. <laughs> he said that they will cry out very soon. That the enemy in India are trying to open the public very very soon. They will bring it out. That they will be the one to cry out, just like you see the way the way they are crying right now. It's everybody crying. A chief of army staff, when you are not crying, everybody is coming out to lament. He's telling you today. That that thing that is happening, they are crying. That they don't want to make in public. They will make it in public by themselves. That there will be a time. They will publicly come out and say it. That they have the liberation army, the main dia. That they don't want to come out in public and say it. That there will be there will be the same people who will come out and broadcast it and break it as a news. One as na woke ne kwe kwe woke ne kwe ne me me. I want to know that in anything, in anything in this world, in any organization, in terms of freedom fighting, find someone like the Biafra Prime Minister. <laughs> we are proud of you, Biafra Prime Minister. We are proud of you, Makachiku. If I tell that we are not proud of you, we are stupid. Most of us who understand, who know that Biafra have come, we are proud of you. Those of us who understand the needful they have been doing, we are proud of you. And most of you people who don't understand, and they keep on not even know. As now, why do you all get no If the Afra Prime Minister is one of the Prime Minister, <laughs> let me describe him. <laughs> the Afra Prime Minister is one of the Prime Minister I have never seen in the world. The Prime Minister that have come to say every single thing in the Afra struggle that it come to pass. The Prime Minister that every single person neglects in Guinea. But every word that he utter always come to pass. His name is Mazo Samonepa, the Biafra Prime Minister. God bless you. Odogune baby. Odogune baby. Hey man, sometimes, eh? Dika yesterday or yesterday, most of all we were like, ah, Nkana Nigeria government is not crying. Lamenting. 
Can you hear me? Not knowing that they are lamenting, there's a reason why they are lamenting. They are crying, there's something behind it. Which they don't want to make it in public for you. They don't want to announce it to the most of uh, one Nigeria East and all those, uh, they, are, uh, they, are own, they are believers. They don't want to announce it to them. But the Afro Prime Minister said that they have very particular thing they are hiding. They have very particular reason why they are crying. That there will be the same people who will come out and make it in public. That as they are making, they are hiding it, they are, they are hiding, they will still make it in public by themselves. Finally, eh? you see this Biafran struggle we are talking about. When we talk about Biafra, most of you people don't understand. Biafra Prime Minister Man Samuel, he said that Biafra have come. Remember when he would tell you that Biafra will come in 20, 2023, that we are going to get Biafra this year. Some junkies are still expecting, I don't know, what else do you want? How do you still expect Biafra? I mean, how do you expect or how do you want uh, Biafra Prime Minister and uh, Biafra as a whole? How do you want them to present it to you that Biafra have come? How? Let me put it this way. The so-called on the uh, we do know, we know how to do it and the stuff. We are going to keep Biafrans, we are going to murder them, we have 20 healers, we have a motor. These are Nigerians. And today, they are the same people who is now coming in public lamenting crying and you know the most uh, uh, most uh, 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 unbelievable part of everything today is that there are so there are some criminals who told the Afrans that simon Epa is working for nigeria <laughs> and today the same people that they say the after prime minister is working for the same people now coming in public crying lamenting and this is what the Biafra prime minister told him. he said that time shall tell that odobo onabo odobo ne chimong onabo one chimong one onabo on a chimong, on a baby, on a chimong, something that is happening. The same people, ne ne query, ne query, ah, gap, that query, ne me. The same Nigeria government, they say the Afro Prime Minister is working for. Are the same people crying today? All these criminals that have been lying, the lie is no more working anymore because the people that they are lying against, the people is not crying in public. Makiri ne me me na lai alai alai biafra. Obi do go very long. These people have been losing. A lot have been happening. They have been losing every blessed day they are, they are passing through. I'm kind of the reason why Chief of Army Star begin to come out to announce that everything has been sabotaged, all their effort, everything. They might hear me, Gara. You people don't know what these people are passing in the hand of Biafra Army. You people don't know what these people are passing in the hand of uh, 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 Biafra Army, Biafra Resistance, everybody. You all of you don't know what they are passing through. And this is the reason why they are coming out in public to, uh, to lament. They are coming out to tell you how everything has been squandered. All their effort, they try to do this, they try to do that, and their effort is now effortless, meaningless. It's not working for them. Everything they did, the Biafra Prime Minister Man Sam Nepal has been able to dissolve it, to destroy it. Akwande, Akwonya, Asai, and the all these useless, stupid people. What I'm saying is eh, that the Biafra Prime Minister Man Sam Nepal is working for the Nigerian government. And they here. And you know the most beautiful part of it when all these things were happening. The Afro Prime Minister never come out to defend himself. The Afro Prime Minister said, okay, if I'm working for them, at the end of the day, let us see. But today, as we are talking today, those who told us that the Afro Prime Minister is working for the Nigerian government, they are nowhere to be found now. Because the people that they are telling us that is working for them, the same people is now coming out in public to cry. Them coming out in public to cry today, my brother, is not small thing. It not be small thing. These people, if it is so-called a giant of Africa, do you know what it means? If it is so-called a giant of Africa, we start lamenting, crying for what Biafran, eh, eh, Biafran effort, Biafran army has been doing with them. Do you people, do you think sabotaging is like washing plates? Do you think that sabotaging is like uh, cleaning, uh, uh, cleaning something? Or do you know what it means? The so-called the giant of Africa is crying in the hand of Biafran army. And rem remember this thing. Remember, the, the Biafran army, they, they are not equipped the way it's supposed to be. I mean, I'm talking about when Biafra actually be declared. They are, not, they are not in that level now, no. They are not in that level of, uh, as they, let me say, as in a nation who have come to, you see, they are not in that level. Level of Biafra army, level of Biafra effort, level of Biafra resistance, it will be lucky level. I want you to understand that upon all this lucky levy and a man, a mobile, a man, a man, a man, of Africa is not crying in the hand of the African government. The second giant of Africa is not crying in the hand of the African government. 
And these are the government that you people neglected. You ignore it. They are nobody. Simon Epa and his boys. All of you people are crying. Hey, oh, singing hallelujah, jumping around. That, oh, Master Simon Epa and his boys. But these are the people, the so-called giant of... Uh, the giant of Africa. Nigeria, Air Force, Nigeria Chief of Army Staff, Nigeria, whatever they call them, they are crying in the hand of Biafran Army. In the hand of Biafran government. You know the reason why I'm making this video or trying to let you understand this is that for most of you people who are so much ignorant, who so much stupid, who so much like a Samuel and his boys, who never believe. Because you know, one thing I want you to understand is that you see the Biafra that we are talking about. Oh, when they say Biafra, they say Biafra. That Biafra has come. That Biafra have come. So I don't know how else or what else you expect or you want before you knowing that Biafra have come. What else do you want? The people who come to tell you that we will kill everybody in the Afghan land, which is the Nigerian the terrorist uh, soldier on us. We are going to kill everybody. We, are going, we have 20 ammo tank. We have a, a 100 healers. You remember when he must take whatever they call them, commission or whatever they call them, and he was narrating the stories. How they are going to make sure that they... But still upon all these things, the so-called giant of Africa is not crying in the hand of Biafra government. Is not crying in the hand of Biafra Liberation Army. And remind you, within a twinkle, within a little space of time, this crying, this baby cry, you see the so-called giant of Africa chief of army staff. There's not crying, no. And most of you people with junkies. You are still Oh, Nigeria this, Nigeria that. Oh, Nigeria can run. Because without be without a Nigerian, you can never hear the Biafran imagine. But we do to know when here in Nigeria, we make our own pain. Why are kids now know that Biafra? Who am I here? Me, me, me. I want every single Biafran people. You should now start to be so much happy, and you should start channeling your energy and turning around of uh, so-called uh, ending Nigerian stuff. Now you should understand that Biafra have come. I want you to understand this. This very particular one. So that you will not be continuing deceiving yourself. Because you must, the biggest problem most of you guys have is that you keep on deceiving yourself. I mean, you say, oh, Simon Epa and his boy, oh, this, this, and you keep on, you know, whenever you guys are doing this, it is simply like you are deceiving yourself. Because what is there is there already. What you cannot change, you cannot change it and it's there already and it can never be changed. But you yourself, you keep on deceiving yourself because you know very well that you are deceiving yourself. You know very well that uh, no matter how you rant, no matter how you make noise, no matter how you do this, whatever you are going to do, you know it's not going to bring any change. I mean, in terms of uh, stopping Biafra, in terms of anything, it's not going to make any change. Because everything has been put in a place. Biafra has been restored. Biafra is now having the Prime Minister. And what else? Biafra has a government. Biafra has army. Biafra has a resistance army as well. Biafra has a navy. What? Okay. Can't you go to... What else do you want that Biafra government don't have? <laughs> uh, uh, can't judge in Latin. What else do you want that the African government don't have? What else do you want that a country have that the African government don't have? Okay, in a country, a country have army. The African government have army. A country have a, a whatever air force, a navy. The African government have it. A Biafra government have a, a minister. The African government have a minister. A Biafra government have a what else? The African government have all. Anything that a nation will answer able to, the African government have it. So what else do you have? Or what else do you want? Okay, now let us talk about the so-called Nigeria. And let us talk about most of the people who don't believe in Biafra restoration or who don't believe that Biafra has come. Okay, right now, if it happens that Biafra has not come, or if it happens that Biafra don't have what it takes, or Biafra don't have it as a, a nation, then the question I want to ask you this one is that, what will be the reason or what will be the case of Nigeria or let me put it the way you understand it, understand it more, of uh, the so-called a giant of Africa lamenting in the hand of the African government. So what will be the case or what will be the cause? Because it happened that if it happened that the African is not legible or is not capable of being of, of, of standing on their own as a government of a nation, I don't think that so-called the giant of Africa will be crying in the hand of the African government. No, it will not work. Instead of the, the, the giant of Africa crying in the hand of the African government, the African government should be crying in the hand of the giant of Africa. But the, you know what? One thing is that it's not happening that way. The people who are supposed to be crying uh, uh, upon someone's son is not crying on the other way around. 
So who are you still deceiving yourself? You claim that Biafra have not come, Biafra is a story, Biafra is nobody, Biafra they are nobody, they are never this, they are never that. But one thing I want you to make or use, understand yourself or even learn sense is that if the chief of family staff of the so-called giant of Africa, you know when they talk about Africa, they always say Nigeria. You understand? If the whole Nigeria as a whole, I mean the chief of army staff of a whole of giant of Africa, will come out on national TV and start lamenting and start crying. And start lamenting what the what the Biafran government have done to them. Do you even know what it means for a a, 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 a so-called a, a giant of Africa, chief of army staff, come in public, come on, come to uh, uh, come to uh, national TV, and start lamenting that the Biafran government is dealing with them? Do you, do, you, do you people actually understand what it means for a whole called Nigeria chief of army staff cry in the hand of Biafran government? I mean. This is the government that you people told us that Biafra, they are nobody, Biafra is nothing, Biafra is just a story. And they told us Biafra is in abroad. But is it not the same Biafra that you are talking about? They, they, they are in abroad. Is actually the same Biafra that the giant of army, giant of chief of army staff, giant of chief of army staff, giant of Africa chief of army staff is crying in their My brother, stop deceiving yourself. Biafra have come. And you can see. The Afra have the government today. The Afra have a minister today. The Afra have the uh, air force today. The Afra have army today. The Afra even have resistance fighter today. All this you know here about it before. But today they are existing. And if you want to testify whether they are alive, whether it's existing, I mean whether what I'm saying is alive, then you will go and try. Because you can see that the so-called giant of Africa chief of army staff, they have tried enough. And remember before the chief of army staff of giant of africa will be coming out to lament on national tv that means something don't happen the Biafran government have actually dealt with them and if in terms of security or whatever or on the ground or python dance or uh, monkey dance or, or snake dance or let me any dance at all that they maybe they have been dancing in the southeast believe me if they have been dancing successfully you will not hear them come out to cry you they will you know what they do Remember that whenever they kill innocent people, they will leave them IPO. You remember that? But do you know one thing today is that whenever they go to kill, they will see the result. That's the reason why all this why now you have not been seen. Uh, we have captured IPOB 15 people. We have captured IPOB ESM 20 people. I, I hope uh, or I believe that some, let me say, some times ago now you are not seeing it. You are not hearing all those things. Because whenever they go, they don't come back. And remember the who are the people that always intercept them or who are the people that always welcome them. You know, the Biafra army, the Biafra security, which is not in charge when I tell you that Biafra security or Biafra government is in charge of their territory. Hey, but whenever we are saying this, all of you will open your eyes. Nah, 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 nah. Because you don't know your left and right. Oh yeah, the engineer. Most of us say who is even uh, within or who is out of this this so called whatever you call it. We are seeing what we what, what we see. What we are seeing over there, I don't even I don't even know reason why that you people who is actually living there are not seeing it. Leave this your propaganda and support the other restoration. Leave this your propaganda and actually start knowing who you are. And this is the reason why I said anywhere you find yourself today, start calling on your government, which is the African government. I told you, in terms of uh, whatever infrastructure and uh, all the development, I told you. How is your role that you will be calling uh, uh, your government of Imo State, uh, Nigeria, this, Nigeria, that? I told you, stop calling on them. It's the high time you need to start calling on your government. Start calling on your government. Because any time you start making videos and start calling on your government, the criminals or those useless people who have nothing, who is friend in your land, they will understand that they, have, they are no more, they are few. And that's the reason why I say, whenever you see all those your role that you will be calling on uh, all these uh, criminals, all these uh, jihadists, Instead of you calling on them, I want you to start calling on Biafran government. If you see a road like all those your uh, road in Anambra State, there, start calling on Biafran government. You make a video. Biafran government, help us. This is our road. Remember, I told you some times ago that Biafran government have already budgeted every single thing. How to develop your land, how to give you a good school, how to give you a good hospital, how to develop your land have already been budgeted. And remember, before, before anything will come out on social media, before everything, before anything will come out on social media, I told you to understand, or before the African Prime Minister will come out to say this, or to say that, I want you to understand that that particular thing, having already in a place, 
But reason why the Biafra Prime always come to tell you is that during Ojuku, Ojuku time, at the end of every single thing that Ojuku did, struggling for me to live today, at the end of the day, they paint Ojuku black. That Ojuku did not inform us, Ojuku did not do this. This is the reason why Biafra Prime Minister told that. I studied the history of Biafra before I come into Biafra struggle. And that is the reason why, in every single thing that will happen, Biafra Prime Minister always inform you. But mind you that before informing you, everything is already in a place. And remember, this man can never tell you something that is not already in a place. That is the reason why whenever this man come out and say something, so many of you, you are laughing, you call him name. But the most shameful part of it upon you people is that at the end of the day, that particular thing that he's saying will come to pass. So the question is, who is deceiving who? Because when he says something, you say, oh, he, we know them, he, he talk, he rant. But at the end of the day, that thing he's telling you will come to pass. So now who is deceiving who? If you, you are deceiving yourself or are you, are you telling me that the Biafra Prime Minister is deceiving you or you are deceiving yourself? Because every single or word you have uttered always come to pass. Start making your videos calling on Biafran government. Let them come and fix your territory. Any part of Biafran land, South East, I wish you understand what I'm saying. But I know very well that most of you don't understand. But I said instead of you calling on the foreigner, because Nigeria, whatever they call them today, is a foreigner in Biafra land. If you don't understand it, let me put it today. Nigeria is now a foreigner in Biafra land. You understand? So that is the reason why I say there's a high time you need to start doing what? Start calling upon Biafran government. If you don't have a hospital, we know it. But they said it's good to call upon them. They know you need this, but even God himself, God knows our problem. My wonderful people, as we have finished watching this interesting video, Please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. Tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please remember to subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video and remain blessed.